Hello engineers, in this video we will learn how to build a weather app using vanilla JavaScript and this is exactly what we will be building today. I'll allow it to access my location and it will go ahead and fetch my location and then fetch weather from an API. We'll also add this icon uh, which is dynamic and we'll have weather condition, wind speed and humidity percent as well. So let's get started. Here I have an empty project and I'll just go ahead, let's do bang here and start stuff out and here we can say weather app and let's link our CSS right here and we can do style.css and also add our JavaScript so script source and this is going to be app.js. Uh, let's start by adding uh, a div which is going to be location location dot con container border and hit enter and there's going to be one h1 with class of location and time zone hit enter and just say zone right here i'll close my previous app and let's just see if we can start this um, and in case if you're wondering what I did here, so this is a plugin which you can get it from here. Just search for live server and this one, the first one, uh, it's really good stuff. You don't need to go ahead and refresh your page. It just auto reloads. Um, so once you do that, make sure you open your folder uh, inside VS Code. Like if you just open a file, it won't work. So make sure you do that. Uh, let's go back and let's paste it right here. Okay, uh, things are looking great. Okay, we have one H1 here, then we need one image. And this image is going to be the icon for our weather. So now uh, we'll go ahead and get the weather. Uh, I'll show you how to work with the API at later part. So I'll just, uh, I'll, and this link will be in the description. So feel free to go there and download this folder. So it's downloaded and I'll go back to VS Code. I'll open up my downloads folder right here and extract this, drag and drop it right here and just say copy folder. And now here, so for, for just now, we'll hard code the icon, but eventually we will fetch it dynamically. I'll, I'll show you how to do stuff. So this, and it's really easy. Like we, we actually get this path from the API. Uh, so so this, this, uh, this folder we downloaded actually comes from the same people whose API we will be using to create the app. So it's pretty consistent. Uh, it's going to be really straightforward. Uh, let's just save the file and see how it looks. Go back to here and it's looking great. We have our icon here. Uh, let's go ahead and move along. Uh, let's add some more stuff. So after this div, we will have one more div with temperature and container border, same as above. We had the same class right here and we'll have degree section here and inside degree section we will have a h2 with a class of temperature degree and hit enter and we'll just do uh, let's just hard code some stuff right here so that we can see how things are looking because next we will be working on css so temperature unit and hit enter and here we will do so the way to get degree symbol is so for mac it's alt shift and key uh, number eight so alt shift eight once again and just do c capital c right here and after that we will have one more div and this div has no class and next one has temperature description and here we will say overcast just hard code it for now. And next is going to be gust description. I'm just 
checking I'm spelling them right so K M P H and let's do last one which is going to be humidity description and hit enter and we'll just do 60% right here and let's go back and see if okay looks pretty good uh, now we just need to add some CSS and uh, things will start turning to look great right uh, CSS is everything so I'll just do star for start and we'll give margin of zero padding of zero and we'll have box sizing of border box save it go back check uh, no changes pretty good let's start with body and it's going to be height of 100 vh display is going to be flex uh, and in case if you're wondering like uh, if you see right from like i'm here and i'm i'm going to next line right i'm just so uh, shortcut for doing this is command enter like if you don't know it's it's a good trick to go to new line because you often do this while programming so justify content center command enter flex direction is going to be column and align items center and we will do font family uh, sans serif and color let's do black and save it let's go back okay uh, things are in the center uh, pretty good let's do contain container border and here we will do border and it's going to be one pixel solid next is going to be padding which is going to be 10 pixels and box shadow of 5 pixel 10 pixel red so this is the container border which looks pretty pretty good right uh, I showed you earlier so location is going to be margin top of 25 px and margin bottom of 25 px and save let's see okay uh, so this thing is the box shadow the effect but uh, it will look good once we start adding more CSS so let's move along uh, location dot temperature temperature and dot app uh, okay we don't have app title right now uh, height is going to be 30 vh width is going to be 50 percent and display is flex and justify content space around and align items is going to be in the center save and okay it's turning pretty good we just need to fix this and do some uh some more stuff and we are good to go uh, i know guys this is not the best part of building stuff uh, I, I personally prefer to do JavaScript stuff but we need to do this right uh, things need to look good uh, okay M uh, move along so degree section and it's going to be height and it's going to be fit content okay uh, my bad this is for something else and here we will do display flex align items in center and cursor pointer so this will make our cursor pointer when we point here so just refresh and okay this looks pretty good right so uh, that way we know it's clickable and degree section is done let's do degree section span and this we are particularly targeting uh, the this part right here so degree section span and this one so we will be working on this and let's just add font size of 30 pixels and dot degree section h2 uh, these are all the descriptions so this part uh, let me show you uh, this part here and here you can see all this are deg degree descriptions so let's add h2 and this is going to be font size of 40 pixels and final temperature dot degree section dot temperature unit and this is once again a degree celsius 
so we will add font weight of 100 font size of 20 pixel and margin bottom of 25 pixels and just hit save and when we go back everything looks pretty good right this uh, this turned out to be really nice uh, you see like it it looks like it's it's like a it's like square root right the thing is on the top uh, what do you say i think it's called superscript like yeah anyways looks pretty good uh, now next thing what we will be doing is let's try to fetch our location and print it in the console right uh, seems like a good challenge uh, let's do that first so let's go back to app.js what we will do is we will add a window listener so window dot add sorry it's going to be event listener on window and on load what we will do is we will and uh, so for people who don't understand this syntax it's an arrow function I do have a separate video on them uh, I'll put a link in the description and you might as well see a card on the right side above so do check it out um, it's good to know uh, arrow functions came out with ES6 and it's pretty pretty good thing to, uh, to use right it makes your syntax a lot cleaner I'll do this next thing we will do is if so if we are authorized to use navigator dot geolocation what we will do is we'll do here uh, location is granted and you can do else here like if somebody denies the location you can just alert or something right uh, location permission uh, denied please fix the problem something like this right uh, you can have your own logic here but for now uh, let's go back and see what happens like if we reload the page mm, nothing happens it's I think okay my location is already granted uh, why am I not seeing this here okay uh, let's go back I'll, I'll show you how it looks so for now let's try to access the location right I'll just remove this part and this part and we'll do uh, navigator dot geolocation dot get current location get uh, get current position and here we will get the position so position uh, and just go here and what we can do is we can say uh, now uh, we can just let's just print it out how so what do we get inside position right you must be curious so I'll just save it go back here and now so th this is what I'm talking about it prompt me to ask to allow for location I'll just say allow and we will get all this stuff here and I'll just take so here uh, you can so just for privacy uh, reasons I'll just I'm faking my location but you will be seeing your own real location right and I, I'm pretty close to Mumbai so don't worry <laughs> should not be a big problem and here uh, if you click this under chords which is coordinates and we get a latitude and longitude so that's what we are looking for so let's go back and put it put them inside our variable uh, we will keep this for now and we'll say long equal to position dot chords dot longitude make sure you uh, you assign longitude to long and lat with latitude uh, chords dot latitude and we have it right here now we will construct this it's pretty straightforward stuff and just hit comma and add and long again and let's say location query uh, okay uh, pretty good now it's time to do some API stuff right uh, let's go and get what we need here is uh, let's do weather API key and we need our key here right so let me show you how you guys can get your key and one more thing so this API is completely free uh, at least for some particular request like I think they have hundred thousand requests free 
Uh, yeah, 100,000. Uh, 1 million, I think. Okay, so pretty good. Uh, what you can do is uh, go to this link. You can go to, uh, let me just log out and you can see here. Uh, this link will be in the description. Just go here and sign up if you're new here. If you have used this before, just, uh, you know what to do, right? Just go uh, and do whatever you need to do. Probably sign up and just log in. Uh, when you log in, you will see something like this. If you don't see your API key here, uh, I think it happens like when you first log in, you won't see your API key. Just go at the bottom, click this and regenerate key. This will give you a brand new key and you will probably see it. And you, if you still don't see it, uh, you can go to API response field and copy it from here. But I think I'm positive you will see it. Let's do it again. I just click here and regenerate key and this is my key. You can click here to copy it. Now go back to your code and we'll just paste it right here. Okay, that's our API key. Now let me give you guys the link which we need. So link is going to be this one. Uh, let's just paste it right here. We will say const whether URL equals to and let's do backticks. This is the key which is below escape and next to number one and just paste it right here. Now, uh, why did we use this? Backtick will allow us to add uh, variables here so that we can construct our own string. And it's pretty easier to use, okay? Next, we need to add our key first. So we will add our key here and we will just do weather API key. And next, we need to give our location, right? So we'll do Q equals to, make sure you add this end here. Uh, and I think question mark is already there. Uh, just make sure this link is completely proper, right? Otherwise it won't work. And here we can say location query and I'll just save it. And now let's just, uh, you know, let's fetch the data, right? So we'll use fetch request and we'll do weather URL dot then. Uh, this is a promise. So once again, if you don't know about promises, uh, I do have a separate video on promises. Uh, I think link will be in the description and uh, you might see a card up here and just go ahead and learn them. Promises are amazing. They, they are a better syntax and they help us avoid callback hell. So I'll just do here. We'll get a response and this is going to be response.json and once we get our response.json, we'll do one more then, and this is going to be our actual data. And for now, just let's console log the data, and we don't need the position log anymore, and just save. And if we go back right here, and just refresh the page, okay, awesome, right? We see our location here. Let me just increase the size. Okay, uh, looks like uh, this is actually using my location, but that's fine, it's it's not that accurate. Anyways, uh, let's move along. Uh, so basically the thing to note here is we get all this data here, right? See, this is current temperature right here. It's pretty hot out there. Uh, this is the wind speed and this is condition and this is the logo URL. Do you see guys, logo uh, icon URL is pretty similar to what we have here, right? If we go to index.html, it's exactly this thing. Pretty, pretty slick. Okay, so we have our data here. Let me show you how you can, like, let's say if you want to see weather off, or you want to take this app a little further, uh, we won't be doing custom weather. We'll just be doing weather from current location. But what you can do here is, you can do location query location query equals to, just say London here. Uh, let's do Amsterdam and just comment this out. When you save it, you will get weather for Amsterdam, right? Okay, it's taking very long. Oh, okay, it's, uh, make sure you spell it right. So Amsterdam and here, bam, see, we got weather for Amsterdam. So like once we are done, what you can do is you can add a text field here and fetch uh, weather for a particular uh, 
location provided by user, right? But for now, we will be just using coordinates. So just um, taught you something right there. Okay, now we have our data. Let's try to put data inside this stuff, right? That's all we need to do for now. Okay, let's move along. First, we'll get all the all necessary uh, selectors. So first, let's start with the temperature description and equals to document dot query selector and here we'll pass in dot temperature description I always mess up query selector so make sure you like pay more attention uh, and you know what we can do is we can split the window close this one go here and open our HTML file so that we can just see like we are not messing it up so temperature description and we have temperature descriptions right here you know or you can just do this copy and paste it right here so that we are just 100 percent sure right next is going to be gust description and equals to document dot query selector and we'll get this from here i just like to be sure you know go back here and paste it uh, let's just copy this guy here. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, command D. Uh, so if you don't need, uh, so for multi cursor, select what you want to select. It will find the, it will like find similar stuff and you can select the next thing by using command D and we can change them together. So let's do humidity. Okay, pretty good. Next, we need to do const temperature degree. So this is going to be query selector and just add dot temperature degree. Okay, uh, looks perfect. Next is going to be location time zone. Let me just fix this document dot query selector. And this is going to be location time zone. Just three more to go, guys. Three more to go. Weather icon. This is going to be. Okay, I think we don't have weather icon right here. And so we probably don't need that. Uh, let's just we forgot to give class to image. So let's just do class weather icon image and just save it make sure you do this otherwise it won't work Go back and let's see Okay, uh, oh, okay. The name is different. So let's just improvise right document dot query selector and what we will do is so we'll do weather icon image and save let's do one two more so degree section and we'll do document dot query selector dot degree okay dot degree section and many times I do forget this dots so take care of that as well just an advice so temperature unit and this is going to be document dot query selector and same thing dot temperature unit okay we have all the selectors right here let's go ahead and first let's get the data we need right so we right now we are just console logging it let's close this guy here what we can do is instead let's create open brackets uh, we don't need to just log this uh, you know what let's just log and see so basically we will be using all we need all the data from here right all this stuff uh, so I'll go back and let's start doing just that remove console log for now what we will do, what things we need here are so temp C and this is going to be data dot current 
so why current right uh, because it's current here so that's why it's current and if you don't know this syntax once again this is object destructuring uh, and similar to this there is array destructuring i do have videos on object destructuring and array destructuring uh, i'll post them in the description and there will be a, a a card somewhere on the top so do watch it okay carry along so temp c temp f and so gust kph uh, so if you guys are wondering what all this is these are just property names which i get from here right so here if you see we have temp c somewhere here temp c temp f because we will be changing the units right uh, from the demo and here is the wind speed you know you can change the wind speed as well like when you click wind speed i'll leave it for you guys to do and if you guys end up doing that do let me know in the comment section below that will be a really cool thing to know cool thank you uh, move along kph next thing so humidity and now we uh, this is something strange for you and this is basically condition so what we are doing is this is like nested right this is this object is nested so we are just getting uh, data from uh, parameter from nested object and here we will do text and we will change its name to weather text and i can uh, if you are seriously having trouble understanding this part do watch my object destructuring video it's pretty small as far as i know uh, just watch it it will help you a lot and next what we will do is you know what let's just print something out let's print temp c out temp f out and let's do weather text and see how it looks cool right see now we just need to put this data in our fields right like in this uh, in this elements let's let's start doing that right i think that's more fun uh, we'll come back to other stuff later but for now what we'll do is we'll create a different function here which is going to be render view and right here once again arrow function if you don't know watch my video and what we will pass in here is so let's just pass in for now we have temp c right let's put temp c in the query and what we will do is temperature description dot text so this is the description what we need here is i think uh let's just be sure right okay uh, we need to change this so degree so we need temperature degree somewhere so let's go here temperature degree temperature degree dot text content is going to be just temp c man just awesome right and if you see here let's reload the app and nothing is happening because we are not calling the function let's just uh, keep the console log for now and we'll say render view and we'll say render view and just pass in temp c for now and if you see right now it shows 33 and it will end up becoming 42 i'll just go ahead and save and bam 42 awesome right okay let's let's do more of this now no more stopping let's uh, finish all of this stuff all together so we did that now what we can do is let's uh, change uh, you know what let's work on the icon for now right what what i'll do is let's do this now uh, let me show you how the icon looks so i'll let's just this and icon so this if you come here if you see it's it's this right but what we need is right now because we have locally available uh, we, we we need to remove this part right everything before uh, com we need to remove so what i'll do is i it's it's a really simple trick what i'm going to do is so const uh, icon path is going to be icon dot replace and i'll just do this cdn uh, dot weather api dot com 
and we will replace it with a dot. Pretty simple, right? Uh, and let's just print it out. So I'll say path and we'll do icon path and save and check this out, right? Path is just a string we added, but super cool, right? Uh, let's uh, go ahead and change the weather, you know, we can do that. So I'll just add, you know, let's do everything together. So we have icon path covered uh, and we need two more stuff. So we need fonts name and country this is going to be data dot location now same thing this is object destructuring and what this is this we get from the api from the json response same thing okay next thing we will pass everything here inside our render view so that we can use it so temp f gust kph humidity and weather text and I can path name and country okay so all we need to do now is just start adding all this stuff out to uh, our DOM elements right pretty straightforward next we will do temperature unit dot text content and this is going to be same thing alt shift 8 and let's do c uh, the reason we are doing this is because eventually we will remove every all this hard coded stuff from uh, from the elements so that it, uh, ui looks much cleaner right so that's why we have that next we will do temperature description dot text content it's going to be weather text next gust description dot text content is going to be gust kph plus and space kmph that's kilometer per hour and humidity description dot text content it's going to be humidity uh, you know actually i'm not sure humidity is in percentage but if you guys know how generally what's the default way of i think it's percentage right and this is going to be backticks, same thing, uh, the key below shift and next to one, and we'll do name. So this name is basically name of your city, right? I think it's more of a locality thing. So country, and let's save and see how it looks. And something went just wrong. Uncaught in promise, render view, whether text is not defined and here we need to add all the stuff right here i'll just copy and paste it right here save and if we go back and okay see everything just loaded and all this data did come from the api uh, now let's what we need to do is we need to add the icon i think we are missing the icon right and let's also log the stuff out so instead of icon Let's just log the whole data out so that we can compare stuff. And next we will do weather icon. So weather icon image dot source. So we'll just change the source to icon path and save and see, check this out. This is the real data guys. Uh, if I click here uh, and check this out, uh, wait, what happened? Here, gust kph 38.2 we have it here humidity is 34 34 is here and uh, temperature is 42 and it's 42 right here now the only thing we need to do is we need to flip this right when we click we need to change its polarity so what we will do is so change weather unit on click okay so we will add uh, an event listener to this degree section let me show you this part so degree section is the whole thing like you can click on 33 or the unit and it will work it, it will change the polarity of the temperature and next thing we'll do is an arrow function and here we will say let unit is equal to temperature unit dot text content 
so basically right now we are just figuring out what uh, current unit is right uh, i'll show you so and slice you know let me show you this so temperature temperature unit dot text content and let's just something is wrong here let me just uh, close it right and here if we open this what's wrong here okay I think we need this okay cool uh, and let's just refresh this and if I click here Generator text kind of is not a function. Oh, okay, my bad. Right here, save again. We just need one here. Save again. Uh, refresh again, and let just wait it to load. And if I click here, you see we get degree Celsius, right? But uh, we we don't need degree. We just need Celsius to compare. So I'll just slice the thing here. And now if I print it now what you will get is just c right so that it's more comparable we it's easier to compare right that's why we did that's why i did that so if unit is equal equal to c capital c what we will do is we'll say temperature unit dot text content is going to be once again alt shift 8 and capital f and else it's going to be temperature unit dot text content is going to be same thing control shift eight and c okay so basically if it's c and you clicked it it's going to be f if it's f and if you clicked it it's going to be c let's check it out i'll i'll click it it becomes f i'll click it uh, i know temperature is not changing but uh, the units are changing uh, it's a progress <laughs> okay uh, let's one final thing to do and we are done and next thing is going to be temperature degree dot text content and which is going to be temp f and here we will do temperature degree dot text content and this is going to be temperature c and save it and we are done with the project amazing stuff i'll just close this refresh and let's just click again oh awesome 107.6 degree Fahrenheit and if you compare all this data is live right like uh, we we get it from here uh, feel free to compare and check and it's 107.6 Fahrenheit awesome right let's try to change our location like okay awesome see I changed my location you can do this right here uh, at the bottom if you don't see sensors just go here click here and more tools more tools and just be slow and sensors and it, it will bring you here so right now in london it's sunny right it's 21 degrees celsius with 11.9 kmph of wind speed let's do shanghai and it's it's what it's clear in shanghai right awesome let's do one more let's do tokyo and tokyo refresh and Tokyo, Japan is partly cloudy. Okay, so that's what we did. And guys, source code will be available on GitHub. Link will be in the description. Don't you worry. Uh, if you guys still have any questions uh, or you are stuck somewhere, feel free to leave a comment in the description below and I'll help you out. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this and if you have any project ideas i should work on uh, leave them in the comment section below and i'll work on them so thank you and until next time